Hello everyone, this is Andy Ford from Andy Ford Video, and today we're going to look at the echo effect. This effect combines frames from different times in the layer, providing a type of trail when there's movement. Here I have a spaceship graphic I got from Envato Elements with some simple keyframes. It moves to the upper corner and comes back. So we want to add the echo effect to see a trail of movement. So we go to Effect, Time, and Echo. So you immediately see that when I applied the echo effect, our image got brighter. And that's because of the echo operator being set to add. But before we get into more on the echo operator, I'd like to review the effect in general. The first thing you'll notice is that even if I add more echoes, you're not going to see any echoes as my layer changes position. And this is because the results of the echo effect are only visible if a layer contains motion in itself, such as a video clip of, say, somebody breakdancing. You would see a trailing motion. But when you have a layer that doesn't have motion itself, we're adding motion by position keyframes, we need to pre-compose this layer for the effect to take place. So in order to do that, we can remove the echo effect from this layer, go to layer, pre-compose, move all attributes to the new composition, and now apply our echo effect to this layer. And if I add the number of echoes, you will see that we now see the echoes. This is because the layer is pre-composed. So let's go through the settings of the echo effect. First you have echo time in seconds. So if you have a negative value, it's gonna create echoes from previous frames. As you can see here, it's creating echoes from the frame before. If you have a positive number, it's gonna create echoes from upcoming frames. You can increase or decrease number of echoes to your liking. Starting intensity is the opacity of your first echo image. DK is the fall off based on the ratio of opacity of the preceding echo image. And then echo operator. Here on add, we're combining all the echoes by adding their pixel value. So this is basically creating an intensity that is very high and lightening our original image. Maximum combines the echoes by taking the maximum pixel value of all echoes. Minimum takes the minimum pixel value from all echoes. You have screen, which is similar to add, but it's not going to be as intense. Composite in the back makes the image from the current time appear in the back. Likewise, Composite in front takes the image from the current time to appear in front. And then you have blend, which is going to average out your echoes. Composite in front probably makes the most sense for this. So now as we see when we play this, the echoes are going to trail our spaceship to the corner and then trail in opposite fashion coming back. So enjoy the simple but effective echo effect. Useful for smearing, streaking effects, and much more. Thank you.